My name is Chloe Cook. I was diagnosed with MS in 2017 when I was 15 years old. And my question is, how will MS research keep moving forward? Hi, Chloe. I hope that you're doing well. As you know, there has been wonderful progress in the development of many drugs for people with MS, not only increasingly effective treatments for relapsing MS, but for the first time treatments against progressive MS. There's no question that the COVID epidemic has slowed progress because of sheltering in place, because of distance that researchers must maintain in order to stay um, safe. But it has also accelerated international collaboration via uh, video conferencing, just the way you and I are doing today. We are now on the threshold of being able to move from suppressing MS to curing the disease, solving progression, identifying what triggers MS to begin in the first place, and repairing damage from past disease. All of this is possible. It is only the MS Society that advocates for young people for funding that pushes the federal government, other foundations and private philanthropy to generate the resources, the enthusiasm, the momentum that we need to make MS a problem of the past. So I hope that as you think about the challenges of the COVID epidemic, Increasing your support for the National MS Society will be high on that list.